walk uh, toward the river and downtown area to see what was going on for the first uh, full day of my New Year. And uh, this happened. We are now underneath an awning with our fellow uh, travelers. <laughs> People getting out from the rain. Waiting for it to let up. It started pitter pattering and then it just opened up. So here we are. But we'll get down there. Don't worry about it. I guess that's one thing I didn't consider um, when uh, they announced that the celebration for Khmer New Year would be this month. Because uh, April is not the rainy season. So uh, you don't have to worry about things getting rained out or anything like that. Talk to you guys uh, later. Well, that was yesterday and the rain did not let up until after eight o'clock at night. So we're down here trying to get something made for my New Year before it starts raining again. Take that, Mother Nature. I probably shouldn't taunt her <laughs> because that sky looks awful dark right now. Probably a bad idea. But anyway, we're down here right now by the Royal Residence. Very nice stately building. I always like coming down here. I was hoping they'd have the uh, Royal Gardens opened for the holiday, but they're not yet done with the renovations, apparently. That's okay, let's go see what's uh, going on. The good thing is that they have this road uh, blocked off from traffic. Normally it's uh, very busy down here by the roundabout. Got traffic coming from one, two, three, four different directions. No stop signs <laughs> or anything like that. So it can be difficult to maneuver. Ah, here we go. If you want to go down into the the uh, main part right here, you can get tested, as you can see. Take your temperature, tell you to wash your hands and everything. Like I said, they are putting uh, into practice. Over here? You want to go over there? Okay, I guess we can go back here. We have to stop by the station first and get a mask and some hand sanitizer and get our temperature taken, of course. Hello. Okay, I guess we have to go buy our masks. Uh, there's a lady right there in the corner selling them. Over there? Yeah. Mask. Yeah, the lady over there sells. No, right, right over there. Uh, apparently she doesn't want to go get a mask. <laughs> I'm like, get a mask, it doesn't matter. Oh well, very colorful baskets here, all kinds of baskets. And of course the bridge is looking good. 
Good thing my child said I'm going to have no money. <laughs> we have money for we have money for the mask. Come on. Yeah. There's things set up for the boat races. All the banners and everything. Not sure when or what time things are happening. Uh, Jeremy from the Channel 4 Reel, he was uh, inquiring as to a schedule of events for this uh, special Khmer New Year. Couldn't find any information online. He did find something, but it was written in Khmer. Oh, no, thank you. It was written in Khmer, and uh, he was trying to get an interpretation if that was indeed the schedule for things like the boat races and uh, there was going to be concerts things of that nature as there usually is but he was unable to find that information unfortunately but he did try so thumbs up for the effort Not as busy as I thought it was going to be, but then again, it is uh, early in the day here. It's not even noon yet, so I'm assuming a lot of activities are going to take place in the afternoon or in the evening. Do see some people out there on the water with the boats. Not racing. Perhaps they are practicing. Alright, so let me get away from this music. I'll talk to you guys uh, later. And apparently what's going on here is that uh, you can take a boat ride for a certain amount of money. It'll take you a little ways up the river. You do have to wear a light vest, of course. And then they'll take you in a circle around, uh, around the river. Helen told me about this, actually. My friend Helen. But the link for the Facebook page she was talking about didn't work. But I understand now. Don't know how much it costs, but it looks like fun. I'm gonna go over here and talk to my friend now. I have not seen him in a long, long time. I took the guy. Standing right there talking to Sanglai. Yeah, I'll be back. Alright, well that's about all that was happening down for uh my New Year. At least during the day. The my tuk tuk driver friend told me that uh it's supposed to be a big celebration tonight, weather permitting. Uh, but it's starting to rain right now. It's just started sprinkling. Thought I'd show you some uh, things on the way home, although I don't know how long I'm going to be able to have my equipment out because of the rain. But anyway, now we're now back closer to our apartment. This area over here is really nice. Uh, they have a lot of shops and restaurants and businesses. It's a good little area. The, another thing I really like about Siem Reap is that even though it's a, uh, it seems to be spread out, but every area has its own, uh, you know, its own vibe, its own uh, anything you need. So what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody let me know in the comments. Every area has anything you can need, not that far away, no matter what it is you're looking for. That's why I tell people when you come here and you're looking for an apartment, find an area you really like, because that's going to be more important than you would think. But almost any area you go to is going to be 
you're going to have barber shops, you're going to have the laundry shops, you're going to have the mom and pop stores, little convenience stores, places to buy coffee, street food everywhere, and all that good stuff. So really, it's all up to you in deciding where in town you want to live. All right, talk to you guys uh, later. And if you want to donate to help support free education and giving out free food to people here in Cambodia, you can go to the link you see on the screen. And if you don't want to go to PayPal, or well, you can check the description down below. There are also links to my Patreon and buymeacoffee.com slash DDC, which you don't even have to sign up for, so you can do it anonymously if you wish. Every donation is truly appreciated, and you will receive exclusive videos, first look videos, and more when you donate. I'll also send you a copy of my book as a way of saying thank you. I want to thank all my supporters because of you. We made a lot of great things happen and are continuing to do so. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.